Hello, everybody. I want to give a special thank you and shout out to Kevin Gaddis. Thanks again for this wood. I sure appreciate it. This wood is all cut from one board of mahogany. And I'm going to use it to make a, a nice little project. The first thing I had to do was cut it down to size and then sand it nice and smooth so I could do the glue up and make a bowl blank. I glued it overnight. I didn't really need to sand it flat again, I just kind of wanted to. And then it's easier to make the bowl blank round on the bandsaw. Plus I'm going to use uh, at least one of the corners off of this in this project. So I wanted to uh, conserve some of it. And as I like to do in my videos, I'll show some passes at real time and the majority of the video will be at 10 speed. And that's so you can see the majority of the work. And here I'm just marking for the uh, recess. And right there in the center is where the little ID tag is going to go. For each area, or each part of the, uh, the finishing, I start at 120 and go up to 1000 grit on this project. And then I use Howard Butcher Block Conditioner, which you just kind of slather on thick and let it soak in for about 20 minutes. And then come back and give it a good buffing with a, cr a clean, soft rag. And it shines up pretty nice. And that shine will diminish a little bit as it soaks in a little bit more. It'll give it a nice satin finish in the end, which is my preference. 
it's also 100% food safe. And here I'm just reverse mounting using that recess. So I can start taking the guts out of this bowl. But before we do that, let's look at what some of you have made. So much talent. Scott Ermerens is a relatively new turner, but he's putting out some beautiful, beautiful bowls. Really, really like those. And Raymond 80. I hope I said your name right, Maureen. This is his first segmented piece. This is a beautiful vase. Just amazing. Outstanding, Maureen. And I want to thank everybody for subscribing. I, I just can't express how much I appreciate all of you helping my channel grow the way you have. Now it looks like I'm making a, a fairly thick walled bowl here, but um, that's just where the lid is going to sit. So I'm under, undercutting uh, that rim quite a bit. So it's a nice thin walled bowl. I just love mahogany. It's so pretty. So much shimmer. Look at that flash. And those are just jumbo jaws. They've got round, soft rubber uh, grippers, and I'm uh, just expanding those to hold the bowl from the inside. You don't see me using these jumbo jaws much because I really don't like them. I just don't trust them. I've had projects go flying across the shop because it's my fault. I put too much pressure sideways on it, and uh, when you're not using the tailstock for support like I am here, um really what you should do is is uh, cut towards the headstock as much as possible so you're putting pressure up against the jumbo jaws instead of sideways anyways onto the lid used most of what was left of that uh, that one board and fortunately I had enough for uh, two attempts at this lid because <laughs> the first attempt uh, well Suffice it to say, I didn't do it right. Uh, I trimmed it a little bit too small. So I had to, had to make another one. So this is lid number two. I've got the lid at the uh, perfect diameter there, but what I was doing was uh, putting a little divot in the middle so that the jumbo jaws could be used to hold it in both directions. 
as you see here. And here I'm just using one of the corners, like I said uh, earlier in the video. And I'm making a little handle for the lid. And I played around a little bit with the design. I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted this, uh, this little handle to look. But what I ended up doing is just a simple, uh, just a simple little mushroom shape. And it matches the, uh, the, the design of the bowl nicely, I think. And here I'm just matching up the, uh, well, matching it up to the hole so I can glue it in. At least that was the plan. That little piece broke off as soon as I uh, twisted it in. And, uh, well, I ended up using a, uh, a wood screw to hold that knob on. So, that's okay. And it looks fine. And it works great. Aside from that one wood screw, it is 100% mahogany from the same board. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Semper Fi.